Hi everyone, I'm starting another crazy project. Uh, I'm going to use paper towels. Usually I use uh, the white layers of paper napkins, but I decided to try and work, do something with paper towels. I really like how they have the pattern on them. I hope you can see. And I'm going to spray uh, with my hand homemade uh, sprays that are from gel food coloring and water I want uh, several pieces with different colors so I will have what uh, to work with and I'm just going to I just want a very colorful um, pieces of uh, of this uh, paper towels so I'm just going and spraying as you can see I don't like this red let's try another one more like it and one done moving it aside it needs to dry next one Let's see, uh, I'm changing uh, colors, this is yellow, now I'm, uh, I'm hoping for some kind of magenta, but they really, uh, until you spray them, you don't really know what you'll get. Next one. <laughs> so I'm. I even uh, write. Uh, I even wrote uh, combinations of colors that I want to use, so I won't forget. And I'm moving along. Here is two other uh, paper towels. And where is my red? Here it is. I've got a darker one and again I'm going with uh, some kind of yellow because it really brightens everything and Another one aside. I'll probably have quite a lot of. Uh, I don't know if I will use everything, but moving on to yellows and green. This is lime green. It's not a, it doesn't matter what you use, just make yourself colorful paper. Now another, more of the lime green. And some turquoise. and light blue and maybe a little bit yellow here here we go so moving on <laughs> it's it's really fun all this spring turquoise again light blue and let's see if I think yeah
another one. So I'm trying to have as many combinations as I can so I will have a, what to play with uh, later. I really want a, to make a very colorful collage using the paper towels. So that's my aim and let's see what else oops and i think i'll just do another one and this is it for me i think i have enough uh, material to work with and let's go wild orange with turquoise and magenta and yellow and a little bit more of the yeah that's more like it very vibrant so i've got all these paper towels that needs to uh, dry before i use them in the collage and once they dry i'll be back I'm back. So here are my uh, paper towels and I'm planning on using this too for the background and all these other lovely uh, paper towels for my image. And I don't really have a concrete plan. I just want to cut out uh, pieces and uh, and just glue them down to make my background and I am not looking for symmetrical I'm just want some interest of color now uh, sometimes uh, the paper towels uh, separate the two plies but the uh, glue takes care of it and I'm using a regular white uh, glue nothing to it and sometimes uh, I've got some uh, bleeding of uh, the sprays but nothing that uh, can't be handled so uh, let's see and I'm trying to take out pieces that would be interesting like I don't want to take a piece that would be only purple I want to take a piece that I will have some uh, more interest, more color on the same piece. So that's the only thing that's guiding me now. And I like to take out wavy uh, pieces. Again, it's not planned uh, and there will be overlapping. Uh, because it's not planned and I don't want spaces between pieces here we go so it just um, looking at the uh, colors that I have and using them to create a background there is no uh, plan I, other than that so you see I'm just taking uh, out pieces from the paper napkins and gluing, glue them down
when uh, everything will be dry I will trim the excess right now and just covering my background whatever will be will be <laughs> so let's see can start I don't know <laughs> it's not supposed to be I'm not supposed to overthink it it really is laying down color It's a little bit more hard to uh, work with it than the paper napkins but there is more texture to the um, background because it's the paper towels and not the paper napkins so I'll live with it Part of it is going to get covered by the image that I want to do on top, but for now I'm just laying this uh, so I will have a nice background since I don't really know what will get covered and what not. So. You see how the two plies are <laughs> separating, but never mind. So you get what I'm doing here and I'm going to continue uh, putting down pieces for my background and when I'm finished I'll come back and we'll move on to the uh, focal image that is going to be here. I'll be back. I'm back. So. Uh, here's my background still wet lots and lots of glue and now I want to move to my focal image which is going to be uh, a leaf and when I'm not sure uh, about how uh, the shape is going to be I'm doing some kind of template what I have done here this is uh, the paper towel that I've choose uh, for uh, the first layer of my leaf and it doesn't really matter uh, how it's going to be I just needed some guideline uh, for the leaf shape that I want so I'm cutting the the leaf shape now and a little bit moving it I hope I'm at least a little bit in frame. Yeah. So here is my leaf. And I want to try. 
trim a little bit. There is all a uh, lot of glue underneath yet, so I didn't add to it, and I'm just pressing it down. And now I'm going to go over and put some glue on before I'm moving to my next uh, layer, which is going to be another leaf shape. So just continuing to layer everything and. Right now everything is uh, looking a little bit of a mess, but I hope by the time I, it will be finished, it would look uh, great. And it's this was a partial, partially inspired by, I think, I think it was a quilt or some kind of textual textile uh, art and now I tore here my paper towel I'll leave it a little bit need to be more focused <laughs> on <laughs> putting down glue without uh, tearing the top layer then <laughs> talking <laughs> I'll manage. Okay. I think disaster avoided. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm keep tearing uh, here. Okay, so next uh, let's see what paper napkin do i want i'll go i think with this one and again i'm using this template only now i'm going to trim it a uh, smaller it's going to be smaller and smaller as i go along and let's see going in Sometimes the template just makes your life easier. Here we go. I don't think I'm going to do another project like this with paper towels. I will get back to my paper napkins because these two plies that I couldn't separate at the beginning just giving me too much trouble now. So we'll see. It's almost everything is blending uh, together. You can't really see uh, the shapes uh, quite good, but I'm planning on uh, adding a lot more details once everything will be uh, uh, dry, so it's okay. And again, I'm going to put down uh, the template and I'm going to 
cut uh, it a little bit smaller. Oops. Let's see if I can hold it so it won't move or maybe some paper clips are in order. Lost my patience. Lots and lots of glue here. Okay, just again doing the same thing. Last one, let's see. Okay, this is it. Now everything needs to dry before I'm going to uh, into the details that will uh, define the uh, the shapes I've put here on my page. So I'll be back. I'm back it's dry and it still uh, looks a little bit of a mess and here is where I'm going into details I've got some uh, gold acrylic paint that I've paint uh, put into this uh, bottle with a very uh, narrow uh, hole here or in the nozzle I think <laughs> it's cool and I hope it will work for me I want some uh, fine lines yeah that was uh, I was thinking about And 
again this is just the beginning I want to add a lot more details and I really hope it will work Yeah, so <laughs> let's begin with some details to make everything more interesting. And this is just plain acrylic paint that I really didn't like the consistency, it was too runny, and I don't quite like the color and the pigment but for this kind of thing to make a, a lines I think it's working out for me so it doesn't go to waste yeah just need to uh, to watch out not to put your hand on the wet paint Starting to take shape, I would say. I think I need to put more paint in my bottle it's beginning to run out but yeah yeah here is my leaf I'm thinking now that maybe I need something for the background maybe in bronze I also have put down another bottle with bronze. Let's see. Uh, and here I'm going to go wild. I want some lots and lots of scribbly lines. Don't know what to call it. I like this mess I really like this mess some dots with the bronze all this needs to dry of course 
but I really, really like it. Yeah, that's it. A lot of mess, but I like it. And this is it for now. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. And thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.